Overall, a nice but cool start to our morning around southern Colorado. We are seeing some patchy fog out there. Remember, a couple of minutes ago, I told you the visibility at the airport in Colorado Springs was 10 miles. That's the top of the scale that you can get. But you notice there is some fog on the western part of town, as you can see by our Mortgage Solutions financial camera, Union of Montebello. One of the great things about the cameras is this ground truthing, we call it, in the weather business. You can see what it looks like in all parts of town when you have a camera available to you. 32 degrees in temperature. It's a chilly start to the morning on the north side. 60 is our high today in the spring. 65 in Canyon City, 66 in Pueblo, lower to middle 60s all on the front range. Temperatures, meanwhile, in the plains will push the 70 degree mark. A nice latest spot or two might get there, but most places will stay just shy. As you look at your mountain temperatures, your highs today sitting in the 50s and 60s, 61 in Salina. Zooming out now to the full western view to give you an idea of what things look like around the west. Sky scan, satellite, and radar. Of course, your eyes are immediately drawn to what's happening in Texas thanks to the moisture from what was once major Hurricane Patricia, the strongest storm ever seen in the eastern Pacific or in the Atlantic Basin, for that matter. As we take a look at what's happening in terms of temperatures, we notice that readings are sitting in the upper 60s. Of course, there's that moisture and all those clouds down in Dallas, which is why they're fairly warm this morning. 54 in Kansas City, where they're celebrating, of course, their American League championship. 40 in the Springs, 31 at Rapid City, 32 in Bismarck, 48 in Seattle, 41 at Reno, 59 in Vegas, and 64 right now in Phoenix. The skycast, as we go through the next 36 hours, of course, includes lots of moisture from Patricia to continue to stream into Texas, southern Mississippi Valley as well. As you go through the next 36 hours, we'll continue to see that chance for rain from Texas. Texas through Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, and back into portions of Tennessee and Kentucky. It's all going to continue to push off to the east very slowly. The reason we're not getting a lot of moisture here in Colorado from Patricia is a front, which is sitting just off to our southeast. This is the same front that pushed its way through our neck of the woods a couple of days ago, gave us our rain. Now it's sitting over Texas and it pulls up stationary. Meanwhile, another front comes at us from the north that gives us another chance for some rain as we go into our Monday night. That's reflected as you look at the seven day forecast in Colorado Springs. High temperatures sitting in the 60s across the board. There's some upper 50s around as well by Wednesday. Top, bottom line, temperatures pretty close to where they should be. The average high for this time of the year is 60 in the springs. Pueblo, our average high is 66. And that's exactly where we're going to be at today. As we go through the rest of the weekend, high temperatures, upper 60s and lower 70s at first, then it's lower to middle 60s later on. In Canyon City, our seven-day forecast, high temperatures, mid to upper 60s. That gives way to lower to middle 60s and even some upper 50s as we end off the seven-day forecast next Friday. And our forecast for Telecai includes a small chance for some rain and snow as well because the showers get to us Monday night, early Tuesday morning. That, of course, means the temperatures will be cool enough to possibly see some snow, especially in the higher elevation portions of Teller County, places like Divide, up towards Cripple Creek and Florissant as well, possibly. Our friends in Florissant saw some snow the other day. It's another chance for it as we go through early Tuesday morning, especially. Gotcha. Yeah, I know if we've seen a little snow in Teller County in the high country, and I did get my skis out the other day. There you go. I lifted them off the rack in the garage, and I'm getting them ready, warming them up. Right. Very you excited. You wax them down, don't you? Yeah, Pretty a little close? bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I promise I go skiing this year. Oh, we'll yeah. See. We'll, we'll have see. to go. All right. Yeah, sounds <laughs> Water good. skiing we can... is my usual speed for being from Florida, but, uh -huh. you know, I'm going to give it a shot. We'll get you there. Uh, all right, Jay. Thanks so much.